Welcome to the Getting Started tutorial with assistments using Google Classroom. In this video, you will learn how to create an account, assign to students, see the student's experience, and access the assistments data report. Let's get started by creating an account. Start by going to assistments.org. Click the sign up button in the upper right hand corner of your screen. You'll be prompted to log in with Google Classroom or Canvas. Choose Google Classroom. Log in with your Google credentials. It's important that you log in with the email address that is associated with your Google Classroom account. You will know that you're logged in because your name will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I'll now show you how to find and assign content from our content library. Click Find and Assign in the menu on the left. You have the option to either search by curriculum or search by standard. To search by standard, you can either enter a keyword or a common core code in the search box. To search by curriculum, navigate through the accordion folders until you get to the problem set level. At this point, you can choose to assign all problems in the problem set or make a selection of specific problems by checking the boxes on the right. Once you have chosen the problems you would like to assign, click Assign to Class at the bottom of the page. You will now reach the Assign Time options where you can modify the name of the assignment, import your classes and rosters that you have set up in Google Classroom, and select the class or classes you would like to assign to. Once you have selected your classes, you also have the option to choose a specific subset of students you want to receive the assignment. You can choose to set a release date or a due date along with a specific time. Here is where you have the option of choosing the problem order in either linear, random, or student choice. You also have the option to assign in practice mode or test mode. Additionally, you can set a time limit on your assignments or choose to deliver scores with just the symbols of success or a number score and class average. We have user resources available that describe in more detail these different options. And now you can select Assign to Class. The assignment can now be found in your My Assignments tab as well as your Google Classroom tab. Next, I'll show you the student experience. Students will access their assignments by logging into Google Classroom and clicking on the embedded link in any assistments assignment you have assigned. The very first time a student accesses assistments, they will be prompted to log in with their school ID and then create a new account. Once the student has clicked on the assistments link and authorized, they will be taken to the student experience, where they can begin completing the problem set that you have assigned. The first thing your students will see will be the assignment progress card. This allows them to see the number of problems they have left to complete as well as have already completed so that they can see that on a quick overview before beginning the assignment. When a student answers the correct answer, they will see a correct message and can move on to the next problem. If a student answers a question incorrectly, they are instructed to try again. Students have an unlimited number of times they can attempt the problem until they get to the correct answer. If students struggle to get to the correct answer, they can click the Get Help button where there are available hints and explanations to help them progress through their assignment. Students also have the ability to go see previous problems in their assignment. 
When at the previous problem, students can access hints and explanations to that previous problem without penalty. If a student struggles with a problem and can't arrive at the correct answer on their own, then they can press the Show Answer button, which will provide the correct answer so students can move on with the assignment. For open response questions, students have the ability to type their answer out as well as insert an image, take a photo directly from their camera, or create a drawing. When students complete their assignment, they will receive one of two student reports. The first student report that they can receive is the Symbols of Success student report, which just provides the symbol that they received for each individual problem. The second student report that they have the option to receive is score and class average. This allows students to see the score that they received for each individual problem. Incorrect answers lower the score by 33%. Accessing and interpreting assignment report data. You can access report data in any assignment in one of two ways. First, you can go to the assignment in Google Classroom and click the embedded assessments link, which will bring you to the report data for that assignment. You can also access reports inside your teacher account in assessments by clicking My Assignments in the menu on the left of your screen and find the assignment for which you want to review. You can filter this list by class, status, and also sort by release or due date. Once you find the assignment for which you want to review data, you can click to see the number of problems, the release and due date, standards, and the number of students who completed the assignment. When you click View Report, the assignment report comes up with three main sections. First, the student progress cards. These are at the top of the assignment report and, the re and report on the progress that students have made in the assignment. Clicking on any of the cards will give you a list of students that are in that state of progress for this assignment. Next is the performance summary. This is a series of bar charts that give you a quick snapshot of how your class did on each problem. It shows how many got the problem correct the first time, our green bar, eventually got it correct after some number of attempts, the orange bar, and who had to be shown the answer, our pink bar. Next is the assignment details. This is a table of information where each row details how a student did on the assignment and each column represents a problem in the assignment. Some highlights of the assignment report include the first row, which allows you to click any column header to see the student view for that problem. The second row shows you the class average score and average scores on each problem. The third row shows common wrong answers, which occur when three or more students enter the same incorrect answer on their first attempt to the problem. Next, you will see each student's row of data. Here you will see the average score on the assignment for each student and their score for each individual problem, as well as how much time they spent on the assignment. Notice in this example, student names are hidden. You can hide and unhide student names by clicking the Hide Columns button in the right-hand corner of the assignment report. Here you could hide or show student names average scores, total time, and total hints. Thank you for watching. Reach out to contact at if you have any further questions.